Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Draco Ray Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about the best settings for the graphics in Warzone 2 Season 4. As usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. All right, let's start going over the settings. Um, went through a bunch of them, and this is absolutely the best settings that I could figure out how to do. Get the most FPS. Now, Vondale actually performs pretty well. Uh, but first thing you want to do is, for some reason, Warzone still, you get more uh, frames in full screen exclusive. So make sure you're in full screen exclusive. Make sure it's on the right monitor. Make sure all the other BS and stuff is uh, done. And like your Windows updates, your graphics driver updates, all the uh, stuff. Make sure games update, etc uh you know reboot your system make sure everything's fresh make sure you don't have a lot of background process things like that i have some other videos that cover those types of things um go ahead and make sure also that you're on the right display adapter if you have multiple and that your screen refresh rate matches your monitor you want to make sure that's there and that the settings also match in your windows as well let me go ahead and back out to windows real quick here we're gonna go to display settings and what you want to do is make sure you can right click on the desktop anywhere and you want to make sure your display resolution uh matches the in game as well as um your your refresh rate so we're gonna go ahead and go down here to advanced display information we're gonna go to display adapter properties and you want to make sure this is in uh to on monitor tab here 240 hertz and you can see your hertz here or or there and you want to make sure that's also on because uh, Windows will override the game. So if you set this here correctly, but Windows isn't set up, so you're not going to get your frame rate. Um, display resolution, I'm in 1920 by 1080. With a, I'm adjusting it a bit. I sometimes play 1440p. Uh, dynamic resolution is off. Aspect ratio is automatic, but make sure it's appropriate to your screen. If it's not working, just hard set it. Uh, manually set it to 16 by 9, etc. 21 by 9, whatever you're running. Uh, V-Sync, I do not run. You do not need it. Uh, enter the menus. Uh, the custom frame rate limit comes from me uh, putting, you can put unlimited, but it, you don't want to really get your system, you know, spending more time, uh, you know, generating frames it doesn't need to. So I have these set maximum in game and then the menu a little less. Give it a break while I'm in the menu, maybe. I don't know, it's just preference. Uh, so if you are having issues with your shaders, you can restart the shader optimization. If you're having major issues with the game, you need to go ahead and re- uh, uninstall the game and then reinstall but before you reinstall you need to go through all the shader locations which i have explained in other videos as well and delete those shader locations reboot your computer reboot your computer then reinstall the game and it should help you with a lot of those issues um that's pretty much it for display i turn hdr off and all those things i don't use it gamma's default quality presets so this is all customized so i do have a render resolution you should keep it at 100 or 133 slash 34 your depends on what you want to do some people uh say that the natural 1440p is better than a forced 1440p through the render res that's up to you give it a shot upscaling and sharpening is off i run a filmic 2x uh for my anti-aliasing uh, anti-aliasing on low with an 85 memory scale uh my texture resolution is on normal uh and i'm running texture filter antiscropic on low detail and distant nearby and level of distant uh nearby level of detail and distantly the level of detail well it's a tongue twister uh on low and low and then clutter draw distance is long especially for sniping things like that particle quality i don't have any issues with view distance or anything like that so this is uh this has been good for me uh particle quality level low bullet impacts off uh persistent damage layers are off uh shader quality is on high uh do you like things to look crisp so i can see what i'm looking at on demand texture streaming is off tessellations near Streaming quality is normal. Volumetric quality is low. Deferred physics quality is off. I'm, wave wetness is it's on wave wetness right now. I was maybe going to go to the default and see if it helps improve. But right now I'm getting good frames. Uh, shadow map resolutions on low. Screen, page, uh, screen space shadows is off. Uh, we got spot cache on ultra. And we've got spot shadow quality on low. Uh, all, the run meet high if you're having issues. Depends on graphics card. I have an RTX 3080. So... I'm running it on ultra. Particle quality is uh, lighting for nor for lighting is normal. Ambient occlusions on both. Uh, screen space reflections normal. Low and low on reflection quality and grid volumes. Nvidia reflex low latency is on right now. You but I do turn off. And you can run it on plus boost. Uh, give that a shot. See if you get more frames. Um, if you have an AMD card, that's irrelevant. Depth of field, world motion blur, weapon motion blur, and filigrame are all off. It really clears things up and makes the game look good. I run a, f a field of view of 120. If you run less than that, you're going to get uh, more frames. Uh, 120 does add extra things for it to render, so it can't affect your frame rate. Uh, ADS field of view is affected. Third person field of view is 90, etc. So also the camera shake, I, I do at least 50. Really try to get that down. So this is my quality settings. I'm going to go ahead and show you my frame rate on my system currently and uh, jump into a game. All right, here we go. Hit 200 plus frames here on the fly-in. Looking great. Let's drop in. Just nice and smooth. Hostile 
So this is uh, solos right now. I hope this video helped you out get some more FPS in Warzone 2 Season 4. Good luck out there and see you on the battlefield.